exciting puzzles, colorful Scrabble, fishing with penguins, and lovely Connect Four? We've got a game to fit everyone's taste in our game box. Find out how to make simple logic games to play with your friends in our new video. What a fun modern party! Everyone is on their phone. Suddenly, all the gadgets disappear. What's going on? The phones are missing, but a portrait of Steve's grandpa appears on the wall. It's his doing! Grandpa gives the young people a sign. When he was young, there used to be different ways of having fun. Forget about your phones, play real games. A mystery box appears on the table. This is Grandpa's legacy. He was a board game champion. Let's see what's inside. A cube with an unusual puzzle is the first to fly out of the box. Hot glue dice together to make different puzzle pieces. Create various shapes. Coat the pieces with acrylic paint. Put the pieces together into a cube and glue the box. Attach labels that say Cubissimo. The kids take all the pieces out of the box. How interesting! Thanks, Grandpa! We have to put the cube back together. It's not that easy. At first, things just don't work. But then the puzzle is solved. Blondie and Steve worked as a team. Grandpa should be proud of them. Blondie wants to take out a new game, but she only finds a lonely playing piece in the box. What are we supposed to do with this? Then the friends find weird playing pieces in the most unexpected places. Behind an ear, in a sleeve, and even in Steve's hair. Grandpa is a real magician. The kids place the entire puzzle on the table. Now we just have to put the Tantrix picture together. Place a Tantrix picture on a sheet of black foam board. Fasten it with binder clips. Trace the picture on the base with a sharp pencil. Cut it out along the outline. Color the picture with paint markers copying the pattern on the original picture. Cut it into hexagonal tiles. Put the puzzle into a box. The kids spend a lot of time trying to do the puzzle. Who will be the first to make the longest loop? This game requires time, attention, and effort. The friends compete against each other. At last, Steve wins! We'll celebrate with fireworks! He's the grandson of the most genius grandpa for a good reason. Like grandpa, like grandkid. Steve is doing his victory dance and Blondie demands revenge. Come on, Gamebox, give us a new challenge. Blondie takes out some strange pieces. Let's see what kind of color code it is. Print out colored shapes on self-adhesive paper. Cut them out. Cut squares out of clear plastic. Attach the shapes to the plastic base according to a template. Place every shape into its spot. Put the cards into a box. Blondie can't figure out what she should do with the colorful cards. Is she supposed to put some kind of code together? Or make a message for extraterrestrial civilizations? Blondie helplessly goes through the cards. It looks like she will never solve this puzzle. She starts to panic. These board games will drive her crazy. Calm down, friend. You just forgot about the instructions. Steve shows her an example of a picture. The goal of this game is to make up the same one out of the pieces you have by placing them one onto another. Now it's obvious! 
once Blondie figures out the rules, she successfully handles the cards, and her IQ wasn't hurt. Blondie is on her phone again. But her friend Rosie won't let her die from her phone addiction. She suggests playing a game. What else does this magical box have for us? Rosie takes out chopsticks and… fish? Are we going to eat sushi or play? It's simple! We will be fishing! Because this game is called, Hey! That's my fish! Print out pictures of fish in rings. Cut them out. And attach them on top of plastic bottle caps. Trace a penguin silhouette on black felt. Cut out a few pieces. Hot glue felt details. Draw a penguin's face with a marker. Hot glue the penguins to foam board circles. Put the fish and the penguins into a box. Rosie places ice tiles with fish on the game field. And the quick penguins are coming. Put the penguins on ice and start the game. Now each penguin has to move to the next ice tile when its turn comes. And the previous piece of ice is removed from the game field. There is a treat hidden under Rosie's ice. It's a compliment from her penguin. Everyone takes a turn. But Blondie doesn't have any treats. What a shame. She puts her boring ice tile in front of herself. The game continues until there are no more fish for penguins. Or there are no more treats for the girls. Let's add up the results. Who caught more fish? Blondie wins, but Rosie had some treats. Steve takes a game board out of the box. Well, that's easy. There have to be Scrabble playing pieces in here, but Blondie finds only slime. As usual, Grandpa left a prank for future generations. We can make the word slime out of it. At last, Steve takes actual Scrabble playing pieces out of the box. Take labels off crayons. Break and melt them according to colors. Pour the liquid wax into a silicone alphabet playing pieces mold. Fill the entire mold with different colors. Take the playing pieces out when the wax is hard. Define the letters with a marker. Make a few copies of one piece. Print the game board. Fold it a few times. Put it into a box. Add wrapping paper and put in letters. Attach a label. A surprise is in the box. Crayons instead of playing pieces? All the Scrabble letters are colorful now. That's even more interesting. The friends put together bright words and keep the score. Blondie made the hardest words. And she's finally the winner. It's time to drink tea and eat cookies. Who needs carbs when we have an amazing game box? Let's see what's inside. It's an awesome Connect Four game. Place a template onto a sheet of foam board. Cut out a game board with round holes. Make two identical pieces. Hot glue coffee stirs along the parallel lines. Make a few layers to get borders. Cut coffee stirs and hot glue them at the bottom. Attach the other piece on top. Color it with acrylic paint. Coat a square plastic plate with acrylic paint. Cut out the bottom of the game board so that it fits the plate. Fasten the board on the plate. Play using buttons of two colors. Drop the buttons into the game board. Fill all the cells. Place the game board and the button playing pieces. Blondie explains the rules. Fill the cells with buttons. The winner is the one who connects four of the same buttons in a row. The girls compete. No one wants to give up. 
At last, Rosie managed to make a line from four buttons in a row. Well, beginner's luck, but Blondie still has a chance to recoup. No way! Rosie shuts down all the possible moves with her yellow buttons. Grandpa's box suspiciously comes to life. Some mysterious envelope flies out of it. Is it a letter with Grandpa's will? Blondie takes out colorful figures of the Tangram game. Print out a game scheme with size indications. Cut figures out of a colored foam rubber sheet. Following the scheme, put the ready puzzle into an envelope and attach a printed label with the game name. The rules are simple. You have to make different shapes out of the pieces. The kids quickly assemble the same piece as in the picture. This puzzle is totally doable. They quickly nail the easy task and say hi to Grandpa. Did you like our simple puzzle games? Then write in the comments which game you would like to play with your friends. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new funny games on Troom Troom.